Yeah, hello and welcome to this session. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about how you can create your interiors. So I'm going to use and create some sample interiors and that may help you kick start. So they are just basic interiors that you start and uh, you can buy some, but starting them, creating your own interiors will benefit you in the long run because the more you create your own interiors, the more you can do more. But they're also cheap, you can buy some. So let's go straight to my uh, desktop and uh, I'm gonna share with you how I create my interiors. And first, we're going to use PowerPoint because I use PowerPoint a lot. It's easy, but you can use uh, uh, Microsoft Word or any other platform. So I use PowerPoint and Canva. So I may be going through PowerPoint step by step, but I'll share with you how I also create my interiors in Canva. So let's go straight to PowerPoint. And you can just do this with me step by step and uh, you get to do. So I'm not going to be fast. I'm just going to share with you and make sure that you can also do the same. So as you know, this is my, sorry, I have a video this on. Oh. So this is my desktop. And uh, what you need to do is to create a PowerPoint document, a simple PowerPoint document. And once you create that PowerPoint document, you can use, so you may go to your start button to do PowerPoint or just do PowerPoint. It will open, then you click on it, or you can also just new document, right, uh, right click here on your mouse, then do new document, then you do Microsoft PowerPoint. And we just open the PowerPoint. So we save this one notebook. But notebook in here. So you can save it anywhere, but I prefer to save it on my desktop. So you open it. So now you have your PowerPoint open. Right. It's okay, it's open. Nice. So I use the 2010 version. You can also use uh whichever version that you feel like you want to use. But just know that so once you have a PowerPoint like this, all you need to do is to get a blank new slide. So it's a blank slide. Just go to the new slide and you click on it. So to have a slide on your uh, PowerPoint. But it's not all the things that you see here. Yours may not have that based on the version that you are using. But you can always Google to see the type of version that you have and the function that I'm trying to do. So the first thing you do, after having getting your slide ready is you go back to Amazon. Then you search for maybe possible books that you feel like you want to create. And you see the type of interior then that gives you an idea of what to do if you're a newbie. I can create interiors off head, but if you're a newbie, I recommend that you go back to Amazon and uh, you look for, search for books, maybe like quotes book or any type of book. And once you search for that book, you can always do what? You can always uh, use that as an example to do more books. So we want to look at two books, this one and uh, this, these are code books. So what we want to do is we want to create code books. And uh, once we create that, we look at, we look inside the code books, we can get an idea of a type of interior we want. So we just want a simple notebook interior. So once you come here, this is a, an interior that we want to create. So something simple like, like this, we can create it. Simple, plain interior. We don't want to have any words there. So just look at another one. So you can look at two or three. So this is another one. And I'll share with you the differences between this and that, the two. So this one is an interior that has bleed on. 
and this one is an interior that has no bleed on. So bleed simply means that once they are printing, you're telling them that if there's a bleed on it, you're telling them that they can cut away some of the words here. And this one, the bleed, you can see the text is all inside, all the lines are inside. It doesn't extend to the edges. So that is just a simple difference. So one, two, I would urge you to create books that don't have bleed. So this one, no bleed, and this is the type one to create. So let's go to our PowerPoint again and start to put something there. But you need to know the sizes, the size that you are producing your content in. So your interior size, and that is important. So we have basic, basically we have two types that you may be looking at. We have the six by nine, six by nine inches, and 8.5 by 11 inches. So they are all like different, different types. Not only the two that we have, but we have a lot of them. But I'm just going to share with you uh, some of the interiors. Uh, KDP cover. Okay, let's go to the cover template. Now I'm going to share with you the so the sizes, types of uh, sizes that we have or books that we have. We have 5.8 inches, 5.25 inches. But we use normally in low content and no content. Basically, the two types that we want to do are six by nine inches. So those are the inches that you want to look at. So these are all the sizes of books that you can find on Amazon. But we use two a lot. We have six by nine inches, this one, and 8.5 by 11. So in the equation of the fact that you want to do like guest books, you may use 8.25 by six. That's guest books and all those, the size of guest books, either wedding guest books or stuff. But normally with the notebooks, they go of 8.5 by 11 and uh, 6.6 by nine, six by nine inches, this one. So today we're going to use six by nine inches. So before you publish, you can always look at the type of books or size that you want to publish in. So once you come here, you open the book, click on the book. Uh, this book should be 8.5 by 11. So you go down to the product details and you see 8.5 by 11 inches. So this is it, 8.5 by 11 inches. So this one, so, but most of the books, and the books depend on the country that you are targeting. Most of the books, books, notebooks in US are going for the six by nine inches, so they buy that more. But if you are targeting European markets, another market somewhere, you publish books with the interior size, notebooks with the interior size by six, uh, 8.5 by 11, because they like the big, big books. But in US, they like small mini books that they can handle. So that makes the differences. But you can publish two books, to target all the countries. Like you can publish 8.5, you can also publish the six uh, by nine inches. So today we're going to use six by nine inches. And we just want to do a simple notebook that you can see, a simple notebook interior that I've shown you. Uh, let me see, so this one, okay, this is bleed, bleed on. So we just want to do a simple notebook. And so once you come back to your PowerPoint, you see that it's like this. So it's not a size that we want. So you go to customize the size and change the size. And that's the difference. And once you change the size, you can publish it on Amazon. So you go, you go to design. Once you come here, you create, you go to slide, you go to design. So this is the design. You click on design and the extension will appear like this. This one's will like appear like this. So you go to page setup. So if your uh, if your PowerPoint is 2003 or below 2006 or so, you may not see it like this. Yours will be here, and it tells you like slice slice uh, setup or something like that orientation or something like. That. Then you click on it, and you can check it from there. But ours, if it is 2010 and, uh, 2010 and above, 
it's like this. Then once you click on setup, page setup, it opens a dialog box like this. So this one shows you that this particular slide, the size of the slide is on screen four by three. And this, the width is 10 and 7.5, but that's not what we want. So as simple as the size that we want to do, which is six by nine inches, you just customize it here by clicking on the six, which is the width, and uh, putting nine inches, nine, so which is the height, and you do okay. You see that you transform to the type of size that you want for you to use, and it's simple for you to use. So if you come here, you want to do page setup, like uh, this page setup to get a slice size. If you don't see it, just Google it. Google your, uh, your the name of your machine, maybe your word, the word that you've installed, if it's 2003, just Google it and see how to get Windows uh, page setup in Google PowerPoint 20, uh, 2003 or 2004, 2020. Whatever it is, you are going to see maybe videos on YouTube or even teach you that. But for now, if you have my type, that's okay. Let's move on. So now I want to do the lines, simple lines that you want to use because we're doing a notebook. So all you do to do is to do insert. So there are two ways that you can use this. You can go to insert and insert the lines, uh, maybe to, uh, you can just, create a table and use that to do the lines. That's first one, which we will be using. Or you do insert and do, you go to shapes. So once you go to shapes, you can see different shapes. You pick on the line shape and you start, you just put a line here. You can see as simple as it is. Then you, you, you can actually duplicate it and make a good size of it. Google CV, you copy and duplicate, and you're making a, you're just making, you're creating your own, whatever it is, notebook. So you can see I'm just creating that, but you need to leave the space, make sure that the margins here is okay, and it's still the same stuff. So I just duplicate it, I pick it, the ones I copy, those are the ones I'm just pasting. So once you have this, you can group it together. So let me add one, or let me just leave it like this. You can highlight all and group this. So once you group this, you can go to format and uh, align it to be in the middle. So align center, I want all to be the same in the middle. So once you do this, you can right click it and group this. So I'm gonna group all this. So you've grouped this. You can see now you can move the whole text document. You can move the whole and uh, you can move it to wherever you want to because you group that. So I wanna move it up and I want to copy this, Control C. Okay, let me just copy it. I want to copy this and I want to paste it here, down, so that it comes down to the level that I want. So paste it. You can see it's okay, pretty nice, but the spacing here is too much. So you just make sure you cover that. And uh, you have a simple interior that you are creating. So if you want, you can paste it again, the same because it's still the same, pick it up and uh, Put it down here, adjust it, make sure it's the same size, it's up, and uh, move it down like this. Okay, so, uh, okay, it's getting the same size and stuff. So you, you do what, you paste again, and uh, you move it up to this. So you do that until you get the full document that you want. You can also group all of them and just do that at once. So once you feel like this is what you want, you can highlight all 
you can just highlight all and make sure that you align uh, align that to the center to the center so all of them are the same in the center but you can see that it's like this side has a lot of space than this side i don't know why but it's been but you can still work on it just move it a little to make sure that it's right so as simple as this is you pick it to make sure that you fill all the faces that might be too much for you to handle or that like on my light people identify that it's not actually a, a correct book because the lines may be the same so this is just a simple one and we have our first notebook interior size so of this uh with this you can just use this as an end product of a notebook but you can also make sure that you fill the down aspect if the, because i can see some spacing down there so i still bring my mr stick and i fill it i create one line and make sure that it fills the void because you don't want to unnecessarily create lines that like spacing that people will, will need to write but because you're, of your spacing they can't write there so as simple as this is so this is a good interior the sizes are already okay and you can convert this into powerpoint like duplicate the slice so let's duplicate the uh, let's du duplicate the slides so the duplicates you can still just copy that this one go here on this right click and du duplicate slide so it comes to new that's first one you can also go to still go back to design page setup and you put the number of slides you want maybe 100 slides and I publish all my slides, like my books, my pages, 100 pages, uh, 110. I publish like 110 or 100 pages. So it is, it has filled it. And you have 100 pages that you can work, work with. All right. So I think I've deleted that again. So it's just like you have all that hundred hundred of stuff pages. So these are just pages, simple uh, slide pages that you have. So I think I've deleted some of them, but you can just duplicate that, duplicate more of this, or copy it, copy it and paste, or you can just highlight all and paste that duplicate slides until you get. The number of slides you want. So I'm just pasting that to get the number of slides I want. I want 100 pages. That's 100 pages. That's you creating. So this one, two, three, it's been more again. So, okay, so 120 is okay. So I have 120 pages of my notebook. You can also add some extra beauty to it. Maybe you you have something that you can make it a journal, notebook journal, by adding something simple on top for people to write the dates. And boom, you have a beautiful journal. Right? Then you just make sure that you use the same thing for all this. But as it stands, this is a simple journal that you can publish, notebook that you can publish. And this is your own notebook that you've done. So if you are new to this, this may be the first time you produce your own interior and start using that until you can create more interiors. So once you're done with it, you the sizing, you can see that allowed some space in here so that once they are printing it, they don't cut off this. They are printing this page, they don't cut off the side. 
and they can, it should be accepted by Amazon. So this one has no bleed, so no bleed on this. So once you're okay that you're done with your template or interior, you save it. You save as, you save as notebook interior, that's the name. The save as type, you know the document, this file, inside the file that you want to save it in, that's fine. But the save as type here makes the difference. You just save it on Power PDF. If you also is an older version of PowerPoint, you may not get PDF option. But you just, once you have a latest version or 2010 and above, you can just save it as a PDF document. So once you save it as a PDF document, boom, it's publishing or as a PDF document. So let's look at, look for it. So this is the interior we just designed. So let's open it and see. Wow, you can see our interior. Very nice. Very, very nice. So this is the interior we just designed. And this is ready to upload to KDP. This is ready to upload to KDP. So you can also add on some things in the beginning of your interior design. So let's go back to interior like you're seeing. And now we're going to add one slide to do some basic designs. Sometimes you see books and they say this journal belongs to Mr. A or B. So you can add that in the beginning. So you can just add a, an empty slide, push it up. So this will be the first page of your slide. Then you add some text. So insert, you can add text, a text box to it. You just put it here. So this, you can capitalize it. This uh, notebook belongs to. You just add something nice to it. So you make sure that you increase the text. Uh, maybe just increase the text so that uh, you. And this this one you can also do it. It's not any something that is technical. Just normal word of PowerPoint. Uh, uh, techniques that I'm doing. So this notebook belongs to, I don't like the text, uh, the font. I do, I always use Gabriella and I, you can see, so you pull in it and use Gabriella. This notebook belongs to ABC. So because it's the, it may be the first page, if you even put color, it's not make any difference. So just make sure that you leave it, you can, but you can add some color to it if you are not using KDP. The first page is it always comes out black. Realize that. So now you just put in uh, a shape whereby people can write their names. This notebook belongs to this person. Okay, see, thing. So I've just copied the same thing and I'm so that they can write to their names well and write. So this is your notebook ready to upload to KDP. You can save it again as like PDF, like we did initially. So PDF notebook interior. So they'll tell us that we already have one. Let's close this. If not, they will not. Close all tabs, okay. So just save it like that, then open it. So we have your notebook interior. You can see this notebook belongs to of a stylist font in there. And uh, we'll put in some, yeah. and we have the interior repeated. So as simple as it is, that's how you can create your interior. So the technique is the same for all the interiors you want to create. Make sure you know the size, you go for the size, and you are able to what? To key in and do whatever you want to do. So this is maybe one of the interiors that we've created today. And uh, you can also use Canva to create interiors. So you go to Canva, canva.com. It's free to sign up.
and we have the premium version and the free version i use the free version so you can also use the free version from the beginning but if you want to do more you can always go for based on your sprint so i want to show, show you uh, with this one maybe if you want to create a, uh, an interior all you just need to do is to put in the size here right we're talking about inches so inches is six by nine pretty simple you go to inches you go to custom size this one then you put in this uh, width which is six and here which is nine as simple as it is that's if you are doing a no bleed but if you are doing a bleed template, they may ask you to add on some simple small numbers to it. So once you click on it, you are creating something like what we saw here, the same size and the same distance. Then you create, you just from here, you can create any type of interior that you want to create. So you can go to elements, and uh, picking this pretty the same you can put like if you are creating a notebook interior you can pick this but because this one is this you need to uh, reduce the size or increase like or you go to you increase it more so that you can see and hold this and make sure that you you, you check it simple if not you may not be able to control it you may not be able to do it so you just increase it make sure that you increase it and uh, okay fit so you can see that now you start you start you start seeing it in a way that you can control but all the same you still need to if you don't do that you may not be able to see it and control it so you go to the size to increase it why is that little distance so you can decrease this uh, distance here make the line 10 and uh, work on it here so once you go back to maybe 50 then you can get get it so you copy it Control C and uh, Control V to paste. Highlight and copy it. The lines may seem to be small, but believe you me, they are going to be bigger ones printed. So you can just do this. You copy, Control C, Control V, then you pull it, just like we did for the other ones. So it's pretty the same, like the same procedure. And you can also highlight this and uh, group it like we did for the other one and uh, copy and paste. So once you copy, you can paste it the way you want and pretty sure you can see it's giving you a nice distance. So paste again, you paste, make sure that it works from the beginning you may not get it as easy as i'm doing but if you take your time to learn this it's worth it because it's an investment it's worth it and you can do different interiors you can do sales interiors sales logbooks gratitude journals and stuff so now we pretty have something that we can call an interior yes i can call this like a template so there are two ways you can check this. You can add new page, or you can just uh, cop uh, duplicate this page and make them 100 pages. So once you make them 100 pages, you can just download this as your interior. Or you, so Canva will only allow you to download up to 100 pages. So you can duplicate this. You can see, just duplicate it up to 100 pages and print and like and, and download it so once you have 100 pages like it's pretty complete you go to download 
a download P, uh, PDF print. So if you do pr PDF print or PDF standard, you just download it. But I also advise that if you want to do up to 120 pages or 150 pages, just download one of them, the first one as an image. Just download one as an image. So I'm gonna show you, you download it as an image file, like this PNG or JPEG, just download it. And uh, pretty sure you come to, you open the Microsoft Word, you still use Word. Then you insert it as an image, what you downloaded. So what we downloaded here, will come here as an untitled page, which is going to be in our downloads. So we open the Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's open a new Microsoft PowerPoint. New Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft, uh, we'll do Canva. Canva notebook. So once you go to Canva uh, PowerPoint, it's pretty the same from the beginning of the uh, what we did. You can just open a blank document. Go to design, page setup, and you change the size to six by nine, six by nine. So you just do nine and you do okay. You can see it has come to the size that you want. Then you can insert the document, the page we just printed. So page, a uh, picture, you go to downloads, it's untitled. So this one, boom, you can see it has fits perfectly to this dimension and it's a perfect notebook. So you, from here you can duplicate it more up to 120 because you cannot print, uh, like you cannot do up to 120 pages on Canva, but if you do up to 120, 100 or 90 or below 100, you can just duplicate it and download it as a PDF document here. But if you are doing above 120, then you can go to uh, just like I mentioned, you can just go to PowerPoint, put it in, and duplicate that. So I'm just going to duplicate this or copy this, Control C, or just do copy and paste. Paste until you get to, and you can also just copy all of them, highlight all, and copy so that once you paste, it will be faster for you because this business is about how fast you are. So you can see 15 pages, you can make that up to 120 pages, then you print, you download it, you just save it as a PDF file. So you go to file, save as PDF, Canva, and you do PDF. So it's gonna save as PDF, and uh, it's, it has saved a PDF. So once you go here, you, let's look for Canva file. So this is the PDF we just made, and this is the template. You open it and it's also nice. So that is a cover page, uh, no, interior page. And that's pretty sure how you do interior pages. You always go on to Amazon, look inside a book that your competitor's book, get ideas, and you go and design your page. You can also go to Pinterest, pinterest.com, and get interior ideas. So maybe KDP interior. So you type in KDP interior. So KDP interior. Then you can see it like we have different interiors. Maybe, but you can specify the type of interior you want. So all of these are interiors that you can look at them. And perhaps let me open this one and see. So this is a weekly planner. So you just look at it and get ideas so that you make your own better. So once you look at this, you go back to this and you design it. So with this, you can do a lot of interiors using PowerPoint. So I want you to keep on practicing. Go on to KDP, uh, reach out to like different, see different interiors and try to create them. So if you have questions, you can always ask me. I'm always here to support you.
and I'm also always here to give you the best to let you win. And once you create your own interiors, you can watch the video that talks about how to scale or expand your KDP business. You can start selling the interiors alone, or you can put them in, put covers to them and publish them on KDP like the original plan. But you can also sell the same interiors on Etsy and on different platforms. Thank you for your time, and I hope you learned something. My name still remains I am Ibrahim Mustafa, and I believe in you. Let's meet again in another session. I hope you enjoyed this.